okay so you just got a suspicious mail from bml you click it you see the previous messages so you're like okay bml let me click the message my account is locked i'm scared so you open up the link it's a normal website looks like bml you take your phone enter in your login details you hit submit you're waiting for your intent to catch up with the login process nothing out of the ordinary yet everything seems pretty fucking normal so far you receive the otp from bml you copy that you enter it into the website and you hit submit unbeknownst to you you just got hacked your entire account drained now if you want to know how this happens carry on with the video Ah uh, yes, hashtag Samal. Oh wait, fuck! I I am way too late to the trend. Let's go to the beginning, right? When I first got my BML account, one thing always bothered me, and to this day, I did I could not figure out what it was that was bothering me so much until very recently. I realized that it was the OTP code, which is this one right here. The OTP code is the same for every single thing. It doesn't matter if you're resetting the password or if it's for a transaction, the OTP code is the same, no matter what. The thing with every single security system is that the weakest thing, the weakest link in every single security system is humans. So the, the, with the OTP code being similar for security reset and everything, you can use that as, you know, you can, you can abuse that to get money out of people's accounts now the way BML has set up their security is it's really good. Even if someone gets access to your account, they can't get money out of your account unless they have the OTP code, which is which is really good. The issue still lies with how the OTP code message is sent. So the way this hack works is it's not your average phishing site. No, 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 no. It's so much more complicated and sophisticated one. I mean, it's not that sophisticated. So basically, it's a weird phishing slash man in the middle slash whatever the fuck. So it, the attack initially starts with spoofing. Basically, you pretend to be BML and send the user a message with the link. Now, one of the things that this attack takes advantage of is human fear. When someone sees a message like that, which comes from BML, they are obviously going to click the link because they don't want their account to be frozen or look. It could say anything like, ah, oh, your account was detected for money laundering or whatever. If, if you put enough fear in a user, they are going to click the link. Every single scam takes advantage of people's fear. Like, you call someone and be like, yo, bro, uh, this is from BML, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, put, I, I don't know how they do it, but one time this came up called me, oh yeah, he was like, yo, this is from BML, and I was like, for real, bro, and he was like, yeah, uh, there's a duplicate in your card, and shit like that, and I was like, damn, bro, that's that's pretty wild, and he was like, yeah, bro, uh, I need your card details, and I was like, huh, and he was like, yeah, bro, yeah, bro we need to fix your card, and I'm like, what, what you mean you need my card details? I don't know where this kit is going. The point is, <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you tell them, hey, don't click the fucking link. They're still gonna click it. Because that's just human nature. Fear is gonna make you click it. Now, what happens when the user clicks it? The user is taken to a login site where the user has to enter in their BML login details. Now, after the user logs in, what you saw was an OTP code being sent to the phone which comes from the actual BML site. Now how does that happen? Well let me explain to you. It's, it's, a, it's a very complicated system. So basically here we have, uh, let's just say here, that's the user. User gets a message and that message takes to the attacker's server, right? User enters their login details to the attacker's server. Attacker takes that login details, makes an API call to the BML server saying Yo, what's up? Let me log in, right? Then the server is like, ah, right, the password's correct. Let me log you in there, fam. No problem. And then the attacker initiates a transfer using the BML API again. Since the attacker already has access to the user's account, they can initiate a transfer. Once the transfer is made, BML server will send an OTP code to the client for. And since the user does not know that this OTP is for 
accepting the transfer, of course they're going to enter it to the attacker, which the attacker is going to send that, that OTP to BM to verify the payment, and then the entire account is drained. Now that's how this attack works. <laughs> oh, I had to take a breather. That was, that was a lot to get out. Now, how, how can this be patched? It's, it's very simple. You just got to change what the OTP message says. If, if it's an OTP for security, the user needs to know that, hey, this is for security. And if it's an OTP for transferring money, I would suggest either just writing, hey, it's for transferring money, or if the servers would allow it, enter like put in the amount that is being transferred and who the money is going to even though if the user gets as far as to submit in their login details and the otp is sent from that point the user would know oh wait for i just got hacked but the attacker doesn't have my money yet now that's how this attack works now the next question is is this is bml the only place that's affected by this no you can actually use the same method to hack Facebook or anything else. And basically what this is doing is it's bypassing the OTP that's been sent to the user's phone by pretending to be the the, 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 the website. Now the way all back in the day, the way phishing sites were made, basically they they they, were, they would not authenticate the original API of the server that they're trying to, you know, pretend to be. It would just take in the user data. Whatever they enter, it will be submitted. You can enter a fake password and it would be like Yep, I, I got your password now, haha. -ha. But with this method, it's actually authenticating with the server to see if it's a legit one or not. Now, like I said, it, it's, a, it's a really easy fix. You just gotta change the OTP system. I mean, I never worked with OTP, so I don't know if it's easy to fix it or not, but yeah, that's, a, that's my two, two cents on that. Now, as for the source, will I be releasing the source? Uh, no, I will not be releasing the source because I don't see any research value in releasing the source. It would only just aid the bad actors and script kiddies who want to hijack people's accounts. There's no point in releasing the source. Just me explaining how this method works is enough for anyone who's either working in implementing security systems or currently have security systems that they want to patch up this this that, that's basically how it is done you know like with uh, the thing with security is you can't make a foolproof system there is always going to be where a way where someone can just go around it if they can't break the security they can go around it this is the method where you are going around the security checks i'm sure some of you eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed that in the demo that I showed, it's showing a local host link instead of actual URL. The reason why I didn't bother putting a domain is because I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy a fucking domain just for a demo. And like, it's it's not that hard to you know just pretend that there's a demo. Like it could be something like this or this, like whatever. It could. It's not that hard to trick someone who's not paying that much attention to click a link like. The, the thing with the human eye is we don't read text letter by letter. We just look at the shape and if it matches, then it's like, oh yeah, this is the word. I'm going to click it. You know, it's not that hard now. Also, what makes this attack really efficient? Well, first of all, social engineering, of course. <laughs> it's basically lying to a user pretending to be someone trusted. And I think the other issue is there's nothing fishing, fishy going on other than the, the the link, you know. As long as are you, as long as anyone is looking past that link, there, there's nothing fishy going on there. Because it even the fake website, the the attacker server, it will it won't accept a fake password or a fake OTP since it's authenticating with the BML API. So that's that's one of the scary things with these new methods of phishing attacks and shit like that that it's authenticating with the original servers. Like it's it's not like back in the day where people would just get the source of a website, link it to a, a fucking PHP script where it would note down whatever data you submit in a form. And the other issue is we as a society, we live in a society, we are so used to entering in OTP words when we log in. So no one's gonna think twice about this. I know there's gonna be some smart ass in the comments like, oh bro, but BML, but you would know which account the money goes to. Okay, look, I, I'm not gonna get into the details 
and I, I'm not gonna get into the details, but it's not that hard to load the money. Okay, <laughs> you know, you don't need like 30 brain cells. Even with two brain cells, you you can figure out how to, you know, not get how to not get caught even by using this method. Just don't. Trust me, it's not it's it's not that hard to load the money. Not that I've ever done it, but you know, if you logically think about it, yeah, it's it's not that hard to load the money. Also, uh, by the way, this I did not use this method to hack anyone's account. I only tested it on mine and then I just showed it to some friends and they all thought it looked really legit. That's why I decided to make this. And if, if I was like, oh, Fishy, uh, why are you why are you telling everyone about this method and shit like that? Like, okay, look, the, I, I'm like, I'm out here revealing the magician's code, okay? I'm peak. I'm taking us behind the curtains and shit like that. Why, why are you complaining?